Hi guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be, we're starting off real, my, my sweaty, uh, freaking workout stuff from yesterday is there. <laughs> this is going to be an unedited day in my life. Um, I haven't done one of these in a minute and honestly, I thought it would be a great way for us to catch up, have some candid conversation and just you know, be together. So welcome back to my channel. Um, I do vlogs, I do New York City content, and all of my vlogs are normally edited. Not that I edit out a ton, but you know, if I slip up on my words or if I uh, show something or whatever, I'll be like, oh, let's cut that out. But on these videos, I just literally combine the clips and post it and it's a real raw look at my day. So I thought this would be great. It's 9 a.m. We're getting started. Um, I drove back actually from Brooklyn this morning back to my apartment and I got a coffee. Um, this is a medium iced coffee with caramel swirl and almond milk and it's delicious. So good. We have a good day today. I figured this would be a good day to do this because it's a little mix of everything. Um, kind of like Monday getting back on track. We have a meeting, Danielle and I, we're recording the podcast, I have a workout later, and I just thought I would take you around my day, you know? Um, I did get something really exciting that I really wanna open right now. This is the Theragun Mini that my aunt got me for my birthday. So thank you, Aunt Marie, very excited about this. And I have been wanting a Theragun for a minute because I've been working out, and actually yesterday, for the first time I took a core power class, the yoga sculpt. They have a bunch of different classes, but I did the yoga sculpt and I am so sore. <laughs> my abs, my legs, my arms. I feel like when you try a new workout for the first time, you're like activating new muscle groups and stuff. So I really wanted to get this charged and going because I am working out later today. And with spinning and stuff, it has been, um, I, it's been something that I've wanted to like, you know, be able to massage out my legs. And I heard that the mini is good because the full size one can be like too powerful, if that makes sense. And this one's like a little lighter. So, you know, I thought that would be good. This is my first unboxing of it. Oh, I really like this like neutral color that it is. Wow. Very cool. Oh, so I guess it, very cool. And um, what else is in here? With all sorts of gadgets and gizmos. I don't know if anybody cares about this. I've been like waiting on getting one of these for a while, so I'm happy that I waited and got it for my birthday. So thank you so much again, Emery. What a great, great gift. Um, this weekend, like I said, worked out yesterday. Actually, Ben and I worked out together, which was an interesting experience. It actually went a lot better than I thought it would. Um, I, for the longest time, I, well, especially when I wasn't into working out, I just never thought that I would be that couple that would work out with my significant other. I was like, all right, we can do our separate things, you know, that could be separate pieces of our life. But it worked out that we took Ben's friend's class, actually, and we both have been wanting to try it. So we both got to go together. And I honestly liked it a lot more than I thought I would. I thought it would be the type of thing where I was like, all right, don't look at me, don't watch, like, I can't take you seriously. Um, but it ended up going really well. And I think we were both like so new to it and like just trying to figure out our footing that we, it ended up going over really well. So never thought I'd be this girl. No, I don't know, I think it will be like a regular thing that will be, you know, just gym coupling it up. But sometimes I think that's fun to try. Um, oh, and then we went to Smorgasburg um, in Williamsburg, not in Williamsburg, in Prospect Park in Brooklyn, which is like a food festival. And we went around to a bunch of booths and tried a bunch of food. It was so freaking good. I think I'm gonna make a reel or a TikTok about that maybe later today. Gotta put that on the list. So yeah, had a lovely weekend. Uh, also had my cousin's bridal shower. I just didn't vlog this weekend because I feel like I was with a bunch of different groups of people and you know, uh, such is life, but we're back today. Um, so I do think I need to charge this up. I do have a USB like little charger thing over there. I need to do my hair because I just uh, washed it yesterday and then like brushed it out. So it's kind of just nothing right now. And do a lot of things. It's always so crazy to me like how these powerful devices are charged by like a little USB. Cause I feel like this is like a big boy, like, you know, it really vibrates, like a big vibrator basically. Um, so it looks like it looks like it is this one. I don't know if these are, there we go, mini three attachments. Oh, this is like the side view and this is the front view. I was like, it looks like that's two different devices, but no, that's fully the side view. 
right? Yeah. Okay. So we'll plug this in and get this going. I just did a little skincare, just like lotion on my face. This is what my skin looks like right now. And to be honest, it's something that I'm not super happy about. I'm struggling a bit. Um, and it's really frustrating because I am taking my spironal actone twice a day. Um, I'm on 25 milligrams, which twi twice a day. So I guess it's like 50 total, which I guess I have to go up even more. I didn't want to be on like a ton of it, which I guess it, it doesn't really matter. Um, but I feel like I'm like really good with my skin. I, you know, take off my makeup. I do my routine. I don't have too many steps in my routine. I try to keep it simple. So it's definitely frustrating um, when this happens. And it's weird because I'll have cycles of, I know it's hormonal because I'll have good weeks and bad weeks with it. And like this right here, this is like an under the skin pimple that I just feel is big and like hurts and stuff. I've been struggling with like stuff around my mouth and it covers up fine and I'm like good enough at doing my makeup. But like I, I it definitely impacts my confidence because I have been doing a lot of workout classes and stuff and those are things that typically I wouldn't want to wear makeup to. I would just want to like show up barefaced, but I am honestly insecure about it and it's not great. So I've been um, struggling a little bit with that. Just wanted to keep it real with the sort of acne update. I, I wish it didn't impact me so much. I wish I could just like be chill with it and not let it be like a determinant of my confidence for the day or whatever, but it does bother me. Um, like even when I was on vacation the last time in Mexico, I was like putting on makeup to go to the pool because I was breaking out or just had acne on my face and I just didn't feel confident going bare face, even though I know it's still beautiful. Like I know I'm, I'm good, whatever, but it just, it, it wore me down, especially when I knew I was going to be like taking photos and I just wanted to feel my best, whatever. I'm playing with these necklaces I got because um, they do get a little tangled, but they are from New Top Jewelry. I think in the next vlog, I kind of go into more detail on them because I'm actually like this is, uh, I just realized this whole kitchen thing that's open, whatever. Um, I am recording this ahead of like the last vlog will be further back from when this is, if this makes sense. Cause I think I'm recording this on edited day on a Monday and posting it on a Tuesday, just cause I want to keep it like in real time. Um, but anyways, I talked about my trip to new top jewelry, which is like a jewelry place in New York city. That's like kind of well known on social media. And I got these two necklaces. So I go more in depth in that video, but they would just got a little tangled, I guess. Um, I was also just listening to, um, Ellie Golding on Skinny Confidential. She is one of, one of my favorite artists, big fan of her music and her in general, but I don't think I've ever like listened to her do an interview. So that's cool. And then I started to pull some questions. We're doing a Q&A for the podcast this week. So I started to just pull some of the questions from the Instagram, putting them on, ooh, I, <laughs> putting them on like the document that Danielle and I both see so that we can record later. Cause it's, 9 30 we've been this meeting at noon and then we're coming back here and recording so um i have to start getting ready soon actually but yes that is it for right now all right i am putting together an outfit i'm struggling a little bit with outfits these days well right now it's in between so it's like that light jacket weather and i didn't want to wear jeans necessarily because it's a meeting but i know that it's going to be like, I feel like all offices these days are more casual and then I show up in like a business fit and they're like, oh my God, you're so dressed up. And I'm like, yeah, I thought that you like, you never know the dress code. So I'm just like, you know, I'll always look nice. How about that? Um, so I have these pants that I really like. They're from Revolve. They're just like a high rise sort of like linen pant and they're really long so i feel like they make my legs look long i just like like the fit of them they're really comfortable too and i wanted to just wear like a basic white crop top with it because i thought that would be good and then a white blazer so like all white on top but for some reason i can't find a white crop top i only and like cropped i only say not so that skin would show but just so that it would hit in the perfect place because these pants are so high they go up to like I, it would have to just be like even a crop top would be big with them, you know But I realized that I only have I guess regular t-shirts because I can't find my white cuts tee Which these are the perfect crop top. So I 
thinking that I might order a few more for summer because they really are just like the perfect fit. Um, and I wore a size large. I think I'm probably a medium now uh, just because I've been working out and stuff. And I want them to fit tight and not like loose. This is actually a Cuts T right now. It's, a, it's supposed to be the looser fitting one. Um, I worked with them a while back too. This is not sponsored by the way. I, I just realized that I keep thinking that I'm making cuts in this, so I'm probably taking pauses. Sorry about that. <laughs> it's like a habit. Um, but this is, this is, ugh, like I have it tucked weird in the back because I'm going to wear the blazer over it. So I think I just need to order some more because I need like the perfect crop and everything. I'm like, where is it? I thought that I had it. Um, because these t-shirts are kind of like they're great white t-shirts, but they're like a little bit boxier of a fit and they're a little sheer, which I really like with just like denim, but not necessarily with this look. So that's what I think I did. I did my makeup, which made me feel a little bit more confident. I actually started using again, which I guess this could be breaking me out, but I don't think it is the Fenty beauty foundation. It's full coverage and it just, Oh my God. Every time I put it on, I'm like, Oh, hello skin. So good. Um, I didn't really show the makeup because I didn't show the makeup in like every vlog, but I need, I should just do an updated makeup routine, I guess, to put on my channel. I feel like that would be good to do. Um, so yeah. And then I air wrapped my hair, just added a little something. <sighs> my hair's kind of struggling too though. Um, earrings, I guess I'll switch out and do something different. I have this jewelry box that my mom got me, uh, two holidays ago maybe. And what should we do? Now I have my everyday necklaces, but I guess I could switch to a little bit of a bigger earring. I think that could be fun. Um, digging through here. I have these. The ones that I wear every day, these are from Studs, and I love them. They haven't tarnished or anything, and these are from Studs, too. They're like a slightly bigger hoop that I like. They're really lightweight, too, um, and they don't give me any problems, like, you know, irritation of, like, the ears or anything, so... I think I'm gonna do this. And then um, I'm wearing sneakers actually. <laughs> that will be like the dress down part of the look because I didn't wanna wear heels. That just feels a little excessive, especially if we're gonna be walking around. Uh, yeah, like just slightly bigger, nice. And then I'll show you what it looks like with the blazer. All right, so then now I, we're in the kitchen kind of have it lightly set up for the podcast recording later. And this is just like a white blazer that I'd wear with it. Well, I think I am wearing this. It's not my favorite full fit of all time, but like I'm happy with it, you know? I feel like a light spring day. I don't know. I feel like put together at least. I don't know. All right, I changed into these pants. I like the fit of these better. They're a little more like tailored, I guess. Those pants are good, but like it has, it's just a different look. Um, and I have them in the same color as the other pants, like that tan, but they are dirty and need to, I think I'm gonna send them to the dry cleaner. So this is the new fit. It's all white on top and then the gray pants. I don't know why outfits are so hard for me today, but like, I do feel like it's kind of giving corporate American not a good way, but I like the fit of the pants. These are really comfortable and then just with white sneakers, it's good. So I'm wondering if I should change my top, but at the same time, I feel like it's comfortable and like, I just, I don't know. Sometimes I can put together outfits and sometimes I struggle more. Uh, this is a struggle day, but at least I'll look like, you know, I don't want to be underdressed, so, like with the pants, you know. I got a croissant from Duncan this morning too, and I've been like picking at that because I wasn't super hungry this morning, but now I am. We'll see. All right, I found a slightly tighter cut shirt, <laughs> the cut shirt saga, and this is the end. This is it. Um, okay, we're gonna go to this meeting, and um, yeah, let's let's go. Let's do it. view is crazy. And it's like the perfect day. Yeah. Really. yeah. They gave us a coffee. It's amazing. We just played uh, Dance Dance Revolution. We got some lunch for recording. I got this and a side Greek salad. Okay. 
Okay, we are about to record. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> A silhouette just appears. <laughs> I love when you like working with your lens and all of a sudden it's dark, but if you get a little closer, yeah. it's like whoosh. Is yours like that too? Yeah, yeah. It's this camera. Yeah, it's this camera. I feel like we're like uh, two pieces of a menswear suit here. <laughs> oh yeah. The I feel like people are like straight men are just very confused by this new fashion yes. style. Ryan's like, I met him for happy hour. He's like, I know why I'm in a workout. <laughs> why are you? And I was like, well, it's trendy. <laughs> no, it's I completely get it. It's this is like yeah. a boxy. This is, um, you know, Lisa D, who we met on the Revolve trip in DR? Yes. This is her company. I bought one. Oh, yeah, I she love gave it. like 10% off. Oh my god. I'm obsessed with, like, the, like, it's good. Lisa yeah, it feels, D. It's always real, like, men. Yeah, yeah, it feels good. <laughs> wow. I'm wearing my Ritzy pants. It's uh, the that's famous today is. Yeah. Uh, yeah, today's men's wear look. Yeah, yeah, I'm glad we were really on par with yeah, that. Yeah, we were. I would Spot think we dressed appropriate. Like, yeah. I felt fine for how we, you know. Yeah, she was like dressed up a little. Yeah. I felt good. I know, you never know in those tech companies because they're like, sometimes they're like, oh, you dressed up and you're like, oh. I know. Yeah, sorry, I didn't know. It was a meeting. <laughs> we always get so excited when we have in-person meetings, so catch us wearing blazers. Like, of course. We're that's what we do. Yeah. So we got prep for lunch and now we're going to record, so yeah. Yeah, we'll be eating more prep in the future. I just figured that, like I thought that, I just associated that with you, I was like, so Danielle Cowan. Like it's so your style food, like it's like juices and like fresh. It's so, f I didn't know that. Yeah. I thought it was just like. Just coffee. And yeah, just like, cheese, yeah. like in croissants. Yeah. But I got this amazing chico, 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 chico bowl. Chicken yeah. pesto bowl. It was like salad. Yeah. And you got. I got half a sandwich and a salad because it was like a combo. Was like I love combo. those. Yeah. It's like, like oh, a Panera. A yeah. Pick and choose. Okay, yes. we're going to record now. It's going to be a good episode. I'm yeah. feeling the juice. This is for next week, though. Yeah. We're getting ahead. All right. We finished, and I am really happy with the episode. Super fun. Um, so I'm just cleaning up now. And I just threw on some leggings because. Honestly, the pants were really comfortable, but I just wanted to be able to use my Theragun. So I charged it all up. This is what it looks like. It's so powerful. I feel like I haven't like really ever used it before, but I feel like, like my quad, I don't fucking know muscles. Like, what am I saying? I feel like my muscles are a little sore. So I'm gonna go in and you hit power on. And then I could like choose the mode, I think. Yeah, this is the lightest <laughs> mode, by the way. And it feels really good. It like, I, I, I can go higher pressure too. It can go up to this speed, which I'm like, I don't even know how much more powerful I would need than this. This is like really powerful. And I could change the nozzle, but like kind of around my groin area. Yeah, groin? I don't know. Around like this area is really sore. And my butt. <sighs> uh, but I feel like it's good to like, feels good. I don't know. You guys tell me, how often do you Theragun? Do you do it? And I know you're supposed to really do it like after a workout, but I'm just like really sore, so I'm gonna do it right now. Because I just activated all those muscles that I don't normally use, right? So really stretch out. Well, all right, I'm gonna work, I have a workout in like a few hours. Um, it's 4.45. This is kind of like weird. It's like Theragun with me, what is this? Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, I like it. It's, it feels good. Okay. All right, I'm always getting exciting mail. Very, very lucky. Um, but I just got, sorry, I'm just making sure this was recording. Um, this book company, Atria Books, they sent me a bunch of books, I guess from authors that they represent. I'm not exactly sure, but all I know is that there are some iconic books in here that I've been wanting to read. I've seen this one a lot on TikTok, apparently it's like really steamy. Icebreaker, American Roommate Experiment, I've heard of this one too. I haven't heard of this one, Thicker Than Water. I'm starting to get on like book publisher PR list and it is pretty much the coolest thing ever. So thank you guys for supporting my reading journey. Um, the Chateau by Jacqueline Goldis, I guess this didn't come out yet. Some of these are advanced reader copies. Uh, Lisa Jewell, new one, wow. This is freaking cool. And then, the, wow, okay, Vanessa Walters, cool. Okay, um, this is sick. So we got a whole stack here. I actually started another book this weekend, but I didn't make much headway on it. So we're gonna read tonight for sure, um, because that's 
what's on the agenda because I got you know my work done today and then I always like to wind down with the book I feel like I've been slower recently but I have some travels coming up so hopefully I'll be able to read you know while relaxing outside or traveling whatever but thank you so much to Atria Books and Morgan thanks Morgan so cool wow that is awesome all right just ordered my cuts shirts and just getting some computer things done i recorded some ads and uh what else did i do oh, i got the episode like all sorted out for this wednesday and then we recorded for next wednesday we're getting really ahead i don't know if i said like what's going on in the next few weeks but i can tell you now um i thursday i'm heading to naples with naples florida um, where my friend Jessie's family has a house and she invited me and some other girls to go on like a little girls trip, which I'm really excited about. So that's this weekend. Um, and then actually I'm going to just stay in Florida because I was invited on a brand trip, uh, starting the following Tuesday in Miami and I was planning on leaving Florida on Monday. So I'm just going to stay in Florida, like drive to Miami. I still have to figure out how I'm getting there. I could always rent a car or something. I didn't really look into that yet. I have to figure that out. Um, that's on my list. Um, but I'm going to stay in Florida, go to Miami, and then I will come back to New York on Thursday. And that is my week. Like, so I'll spend a week in Florida, basically, starting Thursday. So with that being said, I feel like I have a lot to do in the meantime um, in terms of, like, planning outfits because it's kind of, like, for two trips. It's, like, the girls' trip and then the... I mean, it's similar dress, obviously, because it's, like, both Florida, but... I think Miami is a little more like Miami sexy, you know, and then the girl's trip is going to be more like, you know, flowy dresses and like, you know, bathing suits and stuff. And I'm really looking forward to it. Um, I feel so lucky to be able to do stuff like that. So I'm really looking forward to it. I'm probably not going to vlog on the trip with uh, the girls because I it's some people that I've like been friends with for a while and then some like newer friends. Um, so I'm probably not going to vlog on that trip, but I will vlog in Miami. And that's why I'm doing this now, so that I'm like kind of getting a little, not ahead, but I try to plan ahead, guys. I do. But I also want to keep my vlogs like somewhat in real time because uh, I never want it to be too far from the actual date. Like if I don't want to be filming it and posting it like two months later, because that's just not fun for anyone because you're like, I've already seen this, you know? So anyways, I'm in my buff bunny set now. It's one of my favorite workout sets. Um, I actually tried to link it and I think think that the top is like sold out uh but they have really good stuff the brand is called buff bunny collection and they have more like when you go on their website it's a lot of like you see the leggings and they have like the butt advertised as all of the photos and i feel like that wouldn't normally capture my attention but i followed this girl on instagram kate davis and she was she's like an ambassador for them and she always has the most like fire outfits ever and she posts her gym outfits and a lot of the time they're buff bunny and i was influenced so yeah um so anyways so this is a cutie little workout set well i mean something crazy but it's really good to spin in it feels very active and like secure which i like and yeah i'm going like i said late night spin class not even that late it's 7 30 it's like the latest class that they have uh just i just go when it fits my schedule so that's all on that Aside from my daily supplements that I take, I actually don't take these a lot, but Clara and Danielle always talk about these wellness formula things. You have to take like so many of them. Six? Shut up. Four to six. Okay, so I'm taking four. Um, but you're supposed to take them when you like, you know, to stay healthy, but also when you start feeling a little eh. And I can't tell if it's allergies or whatever, but my throat is itchy today and we're about to travel obviously and that is not going to happen. So we take four of those. Um, aside from like my other daily supplements that I take, I take seed every day, stuff like that. Okay. So, uh. I have this linked on my Amazon shop, which I've been updating a lot, by the way. I've been trying to keep that updated because I feel like I've gotten some new like apartment things, whatever, like just linked my Theragon on there because, you know, I feel like it's a good place to like keep all the things that I'm like liking on, I don't know, just random. Um, yeah. Anyways, I'm standing here in this set. This is what it looks like. And I was just thinking about, well, I feel super sore. So besides that, but I feel really like strong and good and just very confident in my body these days. I was trying on some clothes before 
um, that I didn't show you. I guess I could show that. Like outfits for Florida. And I tried on a dress that normally I feel like I wouldn't pick out or I feel like I would have to wear shapewear with, but like the cuts wouldn't work with shapewear. Like you'd see it. And I tried it on and I feel so confident in it and I really like it. And I was just thinking about how it feels nice to feel confident in my body and I guess I didn't even realize that for a while. For a while, like I think I thought that I was really confident in my body, but at the same time, like I was subtly not being kind to myself, you know, and like using verbiage and being like, oh, you know, whatever. But I, I just using like subtle negative talk. I feel like my self-talk has really improved and obviously like working out has a lot to do with it because I just feel like strong and it's helping me like build confidence in terms of like keeping the promises that I make to myself because um, this is one of the most consistent times I've ever been with workouts in my entire life and it's only been like three months which is really crazy but uh, I feel like typically I get to this level of like working out and then I stop uh, once I start to like get in shape and I'm just really proud of myself for maintaining this and doing things that are positive for my body and my longevity and you know finding workouts that I like and I don't know I just wanted to say that um, so if you are someone that I mean it doesn't even have to do with working out but I just want to say that you'll be able to find confidence again too because I, I it's a, it's all cycles and I still have like bad days for sure even in this like stint of feeling good about myself I still have bad days do not get me wrong but I feel like overall I've been Oh my god, I'm like poking myself in my eye. Um, overall, I've been really, really in a good place with that, and I feel really, really good. Especially going into summer, bathing suit season is always really tough for me. Um, I normally don't like being in a bathing suit like at all, but the last time when I went to Mexico, um, like a month ago, I felt so good being in a bathing suit. And it's not, I don't even think I look like that drastically different or whatever from working out. I don't weigh myself. I, I'm, think that I have lost weight from when I started working out or at least I've probably gone down in pant sizes and stuff just because I went from not working out at all to working out six days a week so yeah that's like a big change um and yeah I don't know I wanted to talk about that a little bit in this unedited day because I feel like I like to give updates on these and just in terms of like body confidence and stuff like that that I feel really proud of myself and I'm in a really good place with it and yeah, it's amazing the power of working out. I used to shit on it and be like, uh, like you know, everybody, they always say that it makes you happier and stuff. It does. It really does because you just feel better about yourself overall and you're like, you know, you just, I don't know how to describe it. It's really everything about it that's like so, so great. And not that I'm like trying to be one of those people right now. And do I actually love working out? Like, no, but I love everything about, like, I like the music, I like the community, like, I like, you know, the te the instructors that I go to, I like, um, I like the feeling afterwards, I like all of these things, but and when I'm in there, I'm not necessarily like, I mean, sometimes I'm having fun if it's like a really good song and I'm, you know, whatever, but I just want to be clear. I'm not one of those people that's like, I love working out, you know, I just like, do it for the feeling of the feeling afterwards and feeling proud of myself and feeling strong and you know move, I, you know I don't know especially with the recent like health things that I've had which I am going back for another scan if you didn't know um, I had a swollen lymph node on this side and I literally don't know what any I have no updates like I'm going again I think in a few weeks to go get that checked out again so I guess we'll see but that kind of also motivated me in the health sense of being like, damn, like I want to be healthy to live a long life, you know, and not that you can control everything, but I'm like, if this, if these are small things that I can control and I can control, you know, I have the time and ability to move my body and work out every day, like I'm going to do it. This could be like a ramble and I really hope this is making sense and not like taken the wrong way, but that's that so I'm just hoping that you guys are all doing well and you know that you're beautiful no matter what whether you're working out or not like literally no matter what you are actually it confidence is such an inner thing too but for me that like helps reflect it on the outside if that makes more sense um is doing all these like little things and working out and stuff so I don't know that's just what I have to say and it's nice not having to deprive myself like I went to smorgasburg yesterday and like ate my way through this food festival and i'm still eating like all you know i'm not i'm not i feel like this time with my health journey 
I'm not doing any, I'm not tracking calories. I'm not tracking anything. I'm not, I'm not even, I mean, I guess I'm being moderately mindful, but not really. I feel like I'm just living, you know, and it's nice to do it that way. Cause I feel like every other time I've like tried to tone up or lose weight or whatever, I have to like cut out things or I feel like, you know, oh, if I go out to eat, like I have to make a big fuss over it and be like, oh, well, we're, uh, we should go to this place and not this place because this place has more menu options for me. And no, right now I'm just living and just trying to get in a little movement every day. And it feels good. I will say my body feels like really, really good. I feel like I've been just doing good. So that's on that. That's the little health and wellness update for you all. And hopefully it reflects in the scans and everything that I get the next time I go. So just cross my fingers. But that's, we still have a little bit of time on that. I'm trying not to think about it too much. So yeah. Oh, I have just been getting fire PR, let me tell you. And the new fridge is great. Um, I got these sent to me. This is definitely what I'm going to have for dinner. Bowery. This is like the brand of greens that I get a lot, that, which they send me greens too. I'm definitely going to bring them uh, over to Ben and have him use them because I am not going to be here the, the whole week to be able to use these. We have like, they have, you know, just, it's a great brand of salad greens and stuff like that. They taste so freaking good. Um, I get them on Whole Foods delivery because I do that a lot. Um, it's really convenient. And they have salad kits. So they sent me over some of their salad kits. And I am going to definitely have one for dinner tonight. We have a balsamic, we have a zesty Caesar, and they come with stuff. So they come with, this one has like Parmesan crisps and chickpeas, which you guys know I love a salad kit, but this is like even better greens because it's like the greens that I like with the salad kit. I think I'm going to do this one tonight. It has tortilla stripes, roasted pepitas, and avocado ranch. I think, aren't those just pumpkin seeds? I think that's what pepitas are. I have to look that up. Um, this one has dried cranberries too and roasted cashews. Yum. So I'm excited about that. They sent me a bunch of good stuff. And they sent me butter lettuce, which I really like. Okay. <laughs> you guys are like, this vlog is so random. I know it is. That's what you get with the Brooke Michio vlog. It's <laughs> very random. People always ask me, they're like, when I meet people for the first time, they're like, oh my god, what type of content do you do? Like, what? I'm like, it's a <laughs> lifestyle. That's what I always say, because it really is a little bit of everything. I feel like I talk about makeup and fashion and salad kits. <laughs> no, seriously, because I just show you guys my life, and I, I, I think you guys like it. I like watching people that it's a little bit of everything, too. So I think, like the consumer. <laughs> well, I just do what I've been doing for years, so I love you guys. I am home and so tired oh my god I'm like hurting in a good way I don't know we'll see maybe I'm supposed to take another morning workout class tomorrow and I might not like that might be me listening to my body because I'm really sore right now Ooh. What is this lighting? So like everyone else, I am obsessing over the Sophia Richie and Elliot wedding. This is very timely for when this video is going up. Never been a fan of hers before. Um, so I feel like, sorry, I looked like there's something behind me. So I'm definitely like a bandwagon fan um, after this wedding, but her Chanel wedding looks were un unreal. And I'm watching, um, I followed her for a while. Her name is, Ooh, is Abby. Abs Bon on TikTok and she does like celebrity flow charts. Basically, she explains how all of the celebrities are connected and how they know each other. And she's doing like a big flow chart of them um, and Sophia Richie specifically and like a breakdown because I was so confused. I was like, Nicole's her sister, but Nicole's technically adopted. Not that that matters, uh, but it's confusing like all of the ways that they know. And then like the Scott Disick of it all, I was like, I didn't fathom that she was the same girl. But she was so young when she dated him. I don't know. Anyway, she, this girl, Abby, makes it really good. If you guys are, I'm like into celebrity pop culture stuff, but sometimes I get confused of who's who and like, you know, who's married to who and like the associations and she really breaks it down. So I like it. Benji Madden, they are both in Good Charlotte. And Benji is married to our rom-com queen, Cameron really Diaz, Cameron. I don't know if that helps anybody. 
Oh my god, I'm gonna shower and wash my hair. I feel gross. Actually, when I was at Smorgasburg, Sm Smorgasburg yesterday, uh, when we walked in, I felt like they were like, there was like a pit of like, they were making like barbecue or something. And I felt the, you know, the smoke of it like just hit my face. And I was like, now nah, my hair is going to smell like barbecue. I don't think it really does because I sprayed some of this Sol de Janeiro stuff like all over my body, including my hair. So I was like, it's going to work for today, but now we'll wash it. We're post shower, baby. Um, you can get my towels, part of our Brooklyn and Bundle with Gals on the Go. I will have a link down below. That's my show of the day. Um, what else? Uh, I thought that I would show you guys some shower products that I'm liking. Just thought that that would be kind of fun. And I guess I haven't done that in a while. We talk about it on the podcast sometimes, but shampoo and conditioner. I've been really into the Vega more. Been uh, trying to grow my hair. I use the serum. Oh, this is like dripping. Um, well, I've really used the shampoo. The conditioner, I guess, not so much. And then on the ends of my hair, because I use that at the root ends of my hair, I've been using this Kerastase Elixir Ultime, because I like the Elixir Ultime, this serum. So I use the Elixir Ultime shampoo. Um, what else am I liking? Oh, I only use this once a week, and I haven't really been, so I only used it like once or twice so far. But this Glimmer hair mask. I think I talked about her in this video. Kate Davis, been very influenced by her. And she promotes this brand. She thinks, or she says that it helps like grow her hair. Um, and I tried the hair mask. I felt like it made my hair soft. You gotta make sure you really rinse it out. I feel like with every hair mask, like my hair can get kind of greasy. If I don't like fully, thoroughly rinse. Gosh, I just love these big towels from Brooklyn and they are so good. I love the pink color. Um, I put in my, for leave-in today, I used the Vega More Serum on the scalp, and then I used this Pureology Color Fanatic Leave-In Spray. Sometimes I don't like to load up with too much product. Like I said, otherwise it gets like greasy. Um, what else am I liking in the shower? This is a recent addition. I love the scent. Salt and Stone Body Wash. Sorry, everything's like dripping wet because it's, you know, just showered. Duh. Um, it's in the scent Bergamot. I think you could order from this brand online. I like the pump. I love a pump on a body wash because then I just use it with my loofah. Really convenient. Um, what else? I always use this razor. I actually need to order more heads for it. I know I'm like a teenager learning how to shave, but it's just the best razor, the Chic Intuition. It's so good. I mean, I love it because it has the built-in like shaving cream. I get the sensitive kind. I love it. Um, I think what else? That's like what I used today, pretty much. I just got like a wave of tiredness. And here you can see my skin's not being the best. Here, this is like a pimple that hurts a lot. And I self-tanned, but I want to put on pimple patches, which I know you're not supposed to do because I'm going to have like a line tomorrow. But it is what it is. I got out of the shower and I used this, which I love. The exfoliating um, stuff from Paul's Choice with just a cotton round. But it's like a liquid exfoliant, not like physical if that makes any sense. I was thinking about possibly blow drying my hair, but I'm so tired, I might just leave it. Figure it out tomorrow. Just get in bed and start reading because I'm a sleepy girl. I don't know. I'm so tired. I just did my Necessary Body Serum. So good. I'm like too lazy to like rub in lotion right now, but it, it gets you so moisturized. It's so good. <sighs> Feeling great started to pull some things for my trips coming up uh just like you know i had some dresses that i was like I definitely want to bring that things like that i ooh, just sat here and did my theragun oh my god hold on i just sat here and did my theragun i also put my retainers in i haven't been wearing them for like months so i've been slowly easing back into it because i don't want my teeth to shift and i started feeling like they were and they definitely were because they hurt like a ton but I needed to wear them again they're literally from like when I had braces like what middle school or high school isn't that so crazy anyways um I just realized that I'm not wearing a bra and you might be able to I don't even know um but I just used my Theragun for it felt like a while it had to have been 15 minutes and my legs feel a lot looser so I do feel like it worked I just like kept rubbing it over especially the back of my legs they feel a lot looser um my abs are still pretty sore because I couldn't really like do too much there you know but now I kind of want to hit my arms 
uh, I just wanted to say that I do feel like I see, like, I feel way more flexible and stuff. Like, they felt really stiff after class. And that helped, like, loosen them up, you know? I guess something with the lactic acid, I think that's what it is. I don't know. But I really have just kept it on the first setting, too. Oh, it feels good, like, in my shoulder area. Oof. This is just on the first setting, too. I went to the second to get it a little bit more powerful at the end, but not needed. This is perfect. Oh, feels really good. All right, I'm gonna end off the vlog here. Good morning. Um, I have just been laying in bed reading this book and I read it while I fell asleep. Um, it's an advanced copy, but um, it comes out, I think, in a few months. So just wanted to say that. Thanks for spending the day with me. Let me know if you guys wanna see more unedited days in my life or if you prefer the edited ones. And I love you all. Um, I'm glad we got to, you know, talk about some topics and hang out. I feel like I have like an 80s hairstyle right now because I slept just with my hair wet. But I love you guys and I'll see you next time. Bye.